Sorry, from the Zen flesh, Zen bones from the gateless gate. Do not think good. Do not think not good. <laughs> yes, do not think good. Do not think good. not good. When you have good and not good, that means morning when you got a, you did not do the. I told you, you are running a school. Do the nostril. Ask all students to do the nostril. Simple things. The blockade opens. When the blockade opens, eye power increases. When the blockade opens, the heart becomes very strong. She said, I got bronchitis. I said, no, it clears up. When the eye becomes, just the nostril blow. Just the nostril blow out. Eye power increases. Hearing power increases. Cells lying idle in the brain wakes up. Yes. And for every answer, there is a, every question, there is an answer. Simple things. You do not practice. Stomach, kabal. When you do Kapalpati, I said, what happened to you? This is not your cult. Do not think good. Do not think not good. Why you want to go to the doctor first? Before you go to the doctor, you have to practice. Whether you know what the doctor knows. Then you can become a friend to the doctor. Kapalpati. When you do Kapalpati, the urinary bladder becomes very... Urinary bladder is begging you. Please, I don't want extra garbage in my stomach. The stomach is bulging. I want exercise. When you do, urinary bladder becomes strong. Your sexual power becomes, you don't need Viagra. Sexual power uh, becomes, when these two becomes weak, the whole body is weak. Then invasion happens. Foreign objects enter your body. So do this, Kapalpati. Very, very nice. So do not think good. Do not think not good. You don't have to think good or bad. Morning you do it. What is your problem? <laughs> And then stretching is very important. This stretching very really, when you sit in the commode also, our children sit straight. So everything comes out easily and the body becomes straight. For small for children, they grow taller when they do a stretch like this. Small things of our culture. When he became emancipated, the sixth patriarch, patriarch received from the fifth patriarch the bowl and robe given from the Buddha to his successors, generation after generation. That's what happened. Your parents given your property to you, generation after generation. You just like a monkey. They say, give the garland to the monkey. And what does the monkey does it? <laughs> you know it. I don't have to tell you. And the pa parents have given you the property. Parents have given you the culture. Parents, have, parents work hard. Grand, grandparents and the parents worked out to give the beautiful smile. Beautiful love, which is more powerful than a garland. You are a monkey, an educated monkey. You broke it into pieces. Come out of that. <laughs> so the patriarch has given the ball and you broke it into pieces. From there, whether you can, like the Ayel Kodi Kanadikuru Shakti in this uh, fingers, this is seven crore people's power there. Seven, the, the, all the whole family's power is in this hand, in this body. And you have to only add zero. Purnamada, Purnamida, Purna, Purnamuda, Shri Purnas. You have to add zero to zero to zero. And you can see the power. You forgot the power. You forgot your, you forgot to look into your power. A monk named Emu, out of envy, pursued the patriarch to take this great treasure away from him. Even in, in my ashram in uh, Devanahali, the next door person comes and says, no, no, Hattukunde, that is, uh, a portion comes to us. I put up a measurement and I found out it is, instead of his mind thinking, let me give a little to Rakum school or to the ashram, they are trying to rob it. Children's mind, these people's mind, everybody's mind is robbery, 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 robbery. <laughs> When can we remove that? You can remove it when you do your culture. When you do your culture, this becomes, robbery becomes so small. Your power becomes so powerful. And the whole world is after you. Whole world belongs to you. Why you wanted to rob? This object just symbolize the fate. Sixth patriarch placed the bowl and robe on a stone in the road and told Imyo. He took the property and took it in the road and said, take it. <laughs> it only symbolizes fate. That's all. Just to tell this property, I have my culture, I have my strength, I, I will not get deceased. When I don't get deceased, I can love my wife and children and together we can enjoy to the last day of our breath. What's the use of all the money and then going to the hospital and the hospital removes your dress and chuchify you everywhere. Shameful. With the medicines you're living, <laughs> you can't go and jump and dance and play. This object just symbolizes the faith. 
there is no use fighting over them. If you decide to take them, take them now. He said, if you want to take them now. <laughs> when Emu went to move the ball and rope, they were as heavy as mountain. But Emu, the person, the children, they went to take. He like Emu, he went to take. But he found it was very, very heavy. He can't even move the bowl. Bowl means there's Samskri. Samskriti, you cannot take it. You can melt with the Samskriti. You can use the Samskriti, but you cannot possess the Samskriti. The moment you possess it, become very heavy because the Samskriti, you need the HR department, human resources, to find out how to run that Samskriti. It's a huge one for 800 years, 1000 years, or millions of years. It is there, done it. How could you just lift it? It's not possible. That was it. When Emu went to move the bowl and rope, they were as heavy as mountain. You cannot just wear a sannyasi dress or your guru's dress thinking you become a guru. You have to work hard. And then the dress happens of his own. Otherwise, you sit to the side and say that, uh, that guru is bad, the guru is this, teacher is bad, my father is bad. You are you have got only bad because the whole body is bad. You are a fly. You must understand a fly and a honeybee. A fly will go always find out where there is dirt. He goes and sits in the dirt. Even if there is a garden full of beautiful flowers, he still go for to look for the shit and he goes and sit on the shit. But a, a honeybee, he always looks when there is flower. Even if the whole area is full of shit and there is just one flower, he goes and sits only in the flower. You have to decide whether you are a Honeybee or a fly. When Emu went to move the bowl and rope, they were as heavy as mountains. He could not budge them. Trembling for shame, he said, I came wanting the teaching, not the material treasures. <laughs> when he couldn't move, then he started begging, he started trembling, trembling. Please teach me, the sixth patriarch said, when you do not think good and when you do not think not good, what is your true self? He said, when you think good, good, when, when, when you do not think good and when you do not think not good, that means you are deeply involved in that involvement. You do not think whether your wife is beautiful or not, husband is uh, smart or not. You both just melt to become one to ex experience that orgasmic experience, that beautiful alignment, that satoris which is breaking into your brain. <sighs> I ate that banana. Oh my God, it penetrates into my eye and my brain. <laughs> so beautiful, so taste. I was telling when I ate one, one fresh fruit. Like that, you will experience. You do not have to think whether the banana came from the cobre, that is the manure, which is shit of the cow <laughs> cows. <laughs> then you will not enjoy. When you do not think good and when you do not think not good. What is your true self? At these words, he, Mio was illuminated. Perspiration broke out all over his body. He cried and bowed, saying, You have given me the secret words and meanings. Is there yet a deeper part of the teaching? <laughs> the sixth patriarch replied, What I have told you is no secret at all. When you realize your own true self, the secret belongs to you. When you practice your own self, you find that his health is automatically following you. You don't have to pay money for the health to follow you. And happiness to follow you. When you do your own samskriti, when you do your physical exercise and your mental exercise, and you clean the floor together with your family members, you light the lamp, you sing the bhajan together, eat the food together, you plow and grow medicinal plants and vegetables right across the house. If you don't have space in a pot, you have done the first samskriti and you can find there is happiness, there is love flowing from many directions. Many people coming to find how this love is growing, how this happiness is growing. And then you can find that this happens when you smile and talk, smile and talk to the plants. I told those people, you have a diabetes, the best method to avoid diabetes is smile. Smile at your wife, smile at your plants, hug your wife, kiss your wife and the husband. Yes, if you do not do that, then you go to anywhere. You cannot find any medicines which can help you out. Medicines also knows if you don't love your wife and husband, your own family, then medicines know you will not love the medicine. The medicine will not be able to help you. Everybody looking for love. I was under the fifth patriarch. 
many years but could not realize my true self until now though through your teaching i find the souls a person drinks water and knows himself whether it is cold or warm may i call you my teacher the sixth patriarch replied we study together under the fifth patriarch call him your teacher but just treasure what you have attained just treasure your beautiful body which ramana maharshi said ask who am i jesus christ said knock and the door shall be open some of you even said awake your eyes stop not till the growth stop not till the goal is reached